Hey, Carson. All right, Tyshawn, can you um, can you read? Let me see if I can switch it. You see my screen? Yeah. All right, as soon as the norms come up, can you read them? See the norms? Thank you, sir. Okay, so GGI in townhouse. This happens uh, every day. Today was a great discussion. Yesterday was a great discussion. So it happens uh, from 11.15 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. Please try to be present. You get about uh, five to ten points towards previous scores, and it really helps you out in the end. So you can uh, try to be present. Uh, you need the link. You can get it for any of the teachers, including myself, uh, or behavior support. And alternatively, I also post it daily in uh, Etsy. So take advantage of that. These Raspberry Pi kits, uh, they're not going anywhere. We're going to keep on using them. Life's going to get hard on people if they don't get you know used to how they function. So you have not uh, gotten your kit. You have to schedule with uh, schedule to schedule with the school to come up and get one because we still are in semi COVID. I want to say, and uh, procure one. Alternatively, if you have a kit and it's not functional, I'm usually in the building like today on Thursdays and Fridays, and you bring it up here. I'll try to repair it, but in the interim, I will give you another kit so you can get back on track. So take advantage of that as soon as you can because uh, the course is only going to get more difficult if you don't have the equipment to take care of the course. All right, Carson, you're going to be reading the next few slides. I'm going to do this one for you. Uh, every Wednesday and Thursday, learn to code from the convenience of your home and get extra credit for some of your classes. Uh, the pandemic's effect on the coding job market. You can click on that link if you get time. And uh, why learn to code? The surprising broad benefits of coding. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're interested, join by clicking on the link at 4 p.m. So you can click on that little 4 p.m. link if you ever have time to join let's go all right carson um give me one second have you read this next slide which shows there it goes all right go ahead and read that for me Okay, thank you. Uh, we're gonna tag team it. You wanna read this or you want me to read it? It's gonna be the next slide. You there? Okay, wait, to, wait for it to try, change on you. It's gonna change in a moment. All right, there you go. Make hope are required most projects are possible to be on the cell phone or however mostly will be limited. The actual first one is required to take four of the actual course. Computer science is a graduation requirement of the state of the place to be in the board of education. Question of the science email me at Michael.Tyler SS the school dot com or reach out to me at via at the question. All right, one more. It's gonna change in a moment. All right, go ahead, Carson. Student today's graduation will not be able to achieve certification of endeavor less than four medical machines. Be able to have a five of my courseware that's from Turner today is actuary. Where the day is pernicious. There you go, pernicious. Great. 
Okay, let's jump into what we have to do today. You got your considerable number of points for reading. But let's talk about what we have to take care of. So you should log into your course for third period, and that's computer science for all. And uh, we're going to talk about today's assignment, which is lesson four, medical machines. We're going to do a little bit together. I'm going to go do attendance again in one second. All right, uh, so in the chat is worth 40 points, Mr. Carson. Can you read it? Do you see it? sir all right so we're gonna go through the courseware let me set it up for you but more importantly you're going to need access to um the exit slip information i'll put this in the chat in case you don't have it already um so let me share and you're going to need the information that you just read and put it into the exit slip that is the full name date uh the classroom Name is computer science in this case in period three. And then we're gonna put that there. So that's the exit slip link in case you need it. We're gonna download the actual document once you click on the link, and then it will allow you to fill out all of the impertinent information like the classroom term today. What was it? You just said it a moment ago. Uh, the word of the day. And what was today's, what was the objective of today? All right. So make sure you fill out those parameters uh, as soon as you can. But sometimes it's easy for people to forget to do that. All right. So I'm going to delve into uh, what we have to do today, which is our Endeavor software. And inside of Endeavor, let's see how far you've gotten. So come out of Carson. Oh, okay. So you're jumping around on me. All right. So you're doing good, dude. You only got three sections left, Carson. So you got you didn't do yesterday's, which is designing the ultimate prototype. You got to finish that weekend, and then uh, today we're working on medical machines, right? So you're doing good. You got three more sections to knock out, and you're certified. Try to have it done all by Friday, right? But let's go through today's assignment. I'm go to uh, my kit to do this. over here and uh, we're gonna go inside of what did we say it was uh, endeavor be the course then I got to do this part if I'm not mistaken you got to log into the class with the kit so you can see what's happening on the kit Okay. All right. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is this. Take over share. Yeah, this one, I think. 
Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I do this. And there we go. Awesome. Okay. So now all we have to do is go to the medical machines today, right? Click on that. Good morning, doctor. Today you'll be meeting with patients and figuring out how to help them. In order to keep your patients happy, you need to address their needs accurately. Keep an eye on their satisfaction bars to see how well you're doing as you go along. You have some patients waiting to see you. Click around the waiting room to see what you can find out. It looks like this patient is filling out his intake forms. Click on his insurance and ID cards to help him get started. Great job! This patient intake form will help office administrators keep track of patient care and contact the insurance company for payment. It will also be part of the patient file for you, the doctor, to review. The nurse is getting ready to call back your first patient. Before you meet them, let's see how much you know about the process that a doctor goes through in order to diagnose the patient. All right, Ms. Carson, we're going to start off with the first question. Um, I'm going to do a tag team with you because you're the only one here right now. So um, first question is, and you tell me what your answer is, and you're going to take the next question, and we're going to back and back, okay? So first one is, which of the following statements about a hypothesis is true? A, a hypothesis is a well-informed guess that is always right if the correct information is taken into account. D, a hypothesis is an idea or explanation you make based on information you have that you then test through study and experimentation. C, a, a hypothesis helps doctors identify the patients that they want to work with to limit negative patient feedback. D, none of the above. Which answer do you think it is? B. B, okay. All right, you take this one. What are some examples of the imaging tools that doctors can use? A, computed to to topography. Uh-huh, topography. How you pronounce that? Topography. I'm talking about the, uh, the E word. The what word? Stethoscope? The E word. Oh, the E, I'm sorry. Eocardiography. Eocardiography. So, sorry, echo, echocardiography. Echocardiography and the x ray. V, stethoscope. Mm -hmm. Stethoscope. A, patient forms and x ray. C, echocardiography. There you go. Reflex hammer and a tablet. D, code. Computed top. Topography, and topography, topography, and listening skills. And which answer you think it is, sir? Uh, B. Okay. I'll take this one, and then you'll take the next. So, listening to a patient, feeling, look, feeling for abnormalities, and using a stethoscope to listen to heart and lung sounds are all ways that a doctor can examine a patient. True or false? What do you think? True. All right, your turn. We 
which step does a doctor take before making a hypothesis? A, review the, the patient file, examine the patient. B, order, order, imagine making a diagnosis, provide treatment. D, examine the patient, order, imagine. C, review the patient file, provide treatment. Uh, I'll say A. Okay. And I'll take the last one. You just answer, okay? So uh, a doctor should take into account a patient's lifestyle and personal health goals when providing treatment options. True or false? Can you reread the question? I'm not going to see it right there. Okay. You ready? Uh, a doctor should take into account a patient's lifestyle and personal health goals when providing treatment options. True or false? True. Okay. You're running late. Gather all the things you'll need in order to help your patients. Look at the list and click on each item in the scene as you find it. Move quickly so your patient doesn't have to wait too long. Okay, so uh, I think you can see the screen. There it goes. All right, can you tell me where the lab coat is? You said what? Where you do you see where the lab coat is? Can you tell me where to find it? The lab coat. Yes, sir. Uh, no, I don't see what you're talking about. Have I you ever worn one? Hanging out. Yeah, that's a lab coat, dude. Okay, what's next? A stethoscope. Have you ever seen what a stethoscope is? No, uh, what I heard of before. You're running late. I think I know Gather all the things you need. You say what? You say you don't know what it looks like? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll help you out with that one. You see this on the table here? Yeah. <laughs> That's called a stethoscope. Okay, let's try another. What about the reflex hammer? Do you see that anywhere? Uh, is that it in the thing? What thing? Right there by the teddy bear. It looks like you got a pencil. Oh, yeah. You took my this right here. That's where they hit you on the knee and be like, do you have a reflex? And if you don't, something's wrong with your reflexes, right? If you've been to the doctor. What about the tablet? Do you see the tablet anywhere in the room? I did the little computer. No, that's a laptop. You ever had a tablet, like an iPad or something like that? Uh, behind the plant. Oh, you do see it. All right, last one is the files. What do you think those are? Very good. Good job. As you learn about your patients, key data will be gathered on your tablet. You will then use that information to make decisions about how you'll care for your patients. Time to head over and see your first patient. Before you meet your first patient, take a look at his patient file to see his family and medical history along with his reason for visiting today. During each patient visit, be sure to address your patient's issues accurately and in a timely manner to make sure their satisfaction meter stays high. Learn more about your patient by clicking on the red flags. 
Okay, here's the point where we're going to pause, we're going to switch screens, so let me do that. Just want to take you through a little bit so you get a clue of how to do all this stuff. All right, so let's go through it. Let's review our objective one more time. Uh, this is information you need to fill out your, um, your exit slip portion. So I need you to read that slide there when it gets to the vision part or the point where you can see it. 20 points, sir. You got it? Yeah, I can see that. Uh, students will be able to achieve certification of the Daryl lesson number four, where the pool and machine to be able to verify the online course. Classroom term of the day, actuary, word of the day, pernicious. Actuary? Actuary. Word of the day is pernicious. Very good. Okay. So I'm going to give you about a couple of minutes to work on medical machines. And then um, don't forget to start tackling the exit slip, and we'll leave this information on the screen so you can fill that out if you don't do anything else. That's the easiest part of today. Yeah, look those words up. Put the definitions in your exit slip. I gave you the link for it already. So uh, let's try for 10 minutes. And um, well, I can give you 15, actually. Try to finish as much as you can, especially that exit slip. Tyler. Hey, Randy. Just got here, huh? No, I've been in the class, James. You didn't notice me. You been hiding out on me, man? Been hiding over the cut. You could have said something. You know I was in my mode. Uh, so, Randy, you, you heard everything you got to do, right? Yeah, the EverFi Lesson 4 medical machine. Yes, sir. I already got it done. What? Yo. It's Randy. So you got the exit slip information, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I have the... Oh, wait. <laughs> you got the link? Yeah, I have the template open and everything. Oh, Randy, you're doing awesome. I see what you did here. You got two more sections tomorrow to do, and you're done. So, Randy, just focus on one more section so you don't have too much to do tomorrow, right? And knock out that exit slip. Do you need me to put the link in the chat again, or you got it? Um, no, I got it. Okay. Right. So I'm not. I'm not done with all of them. No, Randy. I'm looking right here. Let me check again. Randy, you got game development studio and data champions left. You got two more to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wait. wait. What? Cause right here it says that I completed them all, but maybe I'm looking at and um, no. You, okay, so look at game development studio and data champions. Cause I'm looking at your scores. You did not finish. I'm gonna refresh again. Those are the only two you did not finish. All right, I'm gonna go check right now. All right. All right, I'm put this back up here for you guys.
Okay, Ducky. So, Randy, uh, can you read the objective on the screen there? You there, Randy? Mr. Carson, are you there? Yeah. Can you read what's on the screen there for me, sir? Students will be able to achieve certification of endeavor. That's the number four medal positions via the Arrow Guide online courseware. Classroom term of the day is actuary. Very good. Okay. So uh, you guys have the exit slip information. Let me just check real quick and see how far everybody's gotten. Let's go this. Never. Let's take a look here. Carson, you're still working on stuff. Are you almost done with the medical machines there, Tyshawn? Okay, you started on it at 1246 today. All right. So you still you still working on it, You you still working on it, it sounds like, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh Randy, what about you? Did you start on uh game development or data champions? Randy, you still with us? Or you stepped away, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to finish it. Okay, okay. All right, so you guys have, let me take a look here. You guys have both of the softwares uh, and the exit slip part. Let's not forget about that. You need to, oh, he came super late. You're going to need to finish, uh, where is it? You have your full name here. Date, class name, and period number. So you guys got to finish all parts of that. Classroom term of the day, we reviewed that. Word of the day, we reviewed that. An objective, you was given that earlier. So let's put this on the screen one more time. Uh, Jamar, you know you came super late, dude. Class is almost over with. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already knowing, man. Uh, I just, you know, I've been busy, but um, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to just catch up, you know? Just drop something in the chat for me to get up to, man. Uh, not that one. That's not how that works. Look, as a senior, what's going to happen is you miss too many more days, they're going to go automatic F. You know that, right? How many more days I got? To, how many more days left I got to miss? So you don't know. You got to talk to Mr. Ortiz. I don't know if you're going to be a summer, uh, you're going to be graduating or you're going to be a summer guy. And it's all based upon how often you come to class. And if you keep coming 30 minutes late, most teachers are not going to let you come in after 30 minutes late. So you got to fix that real soon. But, um, you have the exit slip information. That's the only thing you can do. I right, appreciate it. All right. Uh, let's grab that for you guys. Okay, so everybody knows what they got to do. Uh, today we did medical machines, and uh, you got to have at least 80% in all the modules. Uh, as I was saying before, the exit slip is this. Make sure you bookmark that link. Uh, and fill it out. You got to turn it into SB because you only get 70 points when you finish the EverFi software. But if we review here in EverFi, uh, see if Jamar is even in the system. Yeah, so Jamar, you haven't done any of the sections. So you got to go back in time and finish all that since Monday. Home of the future, perfect playlist, design an alternate prototype, medical machines, and game development and data champions. Game Development Studio and Data Champions will be due by tomorrow. The rest of this should all be done. Uh, so let me come out of this. And uh, this is the information you need for your exit slip here, everybody. So it is 1.10. I'm going to put up a clock of five more minutes. And we're going to see where everybody is. And that will pretty much be the end of class so you can get ready for your next period. Everybody should, in this five-minute time frame, try to fill out your exit slip information and turn it in. A lot of students be doing the EverFi information, but they don't do the exit slip information. Forget about it. 
and they look at their score like, well, I got 100% in every five, but they didn't do the exit slip. So they only got 70% because the exit slip is worth 30 points out of that 100% of your score today. So do the exit slip right now if you can, if you don't do anything else. Look up those words. What does actuary mean? Put that in there. Look at what pernicious means. Is definition. Put it in there. Please, please do not try to finesse me by putting the words in there or sending me a blank document. I do watch, I do review everything, and I'm a scientist at the core. So if you really want a high score, just do yourself a favor and do the work correctly. All right, four minutes. I'm going to check on you all. Hey, uh, Mr. Tyler. Hey, uh, Jamar, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? How you want us to do the exit ticket again? Because I was going to put it in the chat. No, you got to click on that link. There's a process, right? All right. Mm -hmm. That's when the chat's turned off. Y'all can't be doing that. Uh, click on that link, download the file, type it in. Oh, that's cause, look, hey, cause I'm on my phone. Hey, 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 I talked nah, to that. Look, I need help on logging in on my computer. First, 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 first step is you gotta be in the building to get the help, Jamar. Yeah. Can't nobody help you over the phone. You an adult, so you gotta start coming to class. That's my stance with you. You can't get help if you're not coming. All right. So you need to figure out how to do it on your phone because as a grown man, you still haven't come into the building to see me. And I'm here Thursdays and Fridays. All right? Figure it out. Hey, you think they're going to let me come every day then? I don't know. You got to talk to Ortiz and them. They want y'all to come in the building because at home, y'all are not effective. All right. Y'all not right, effective man. at home. Y'all don't have good management of time. Y'all disciplined. No, y'all need to be in the building. So you got to talk to them and they, of course, Summer school is going to be all in the building for most students who fail. So be expecting that. Okay, so the information again, uh, let me see here. 
I know, Jamar, you're able to at least do Everfire on your phone. Let me give you the link information here. But uh, everybody else, if you have the edge of slip information, you know what you got to do. You're free to go. I want to have time in your next period. It starts at 1.30. Uh, Jamar, did you get the information for Everfire? Are you able to log into that on your phone and do that? Uh, I think that, well, yeah, yeah, but I'm on Everfire on my computer right now. Oh, okay. So just knock out those sections I was telling you about, right? Let me show you. Let me show my screen. Okay, give me a second. Hello? All right, go ahead, Jamar. Okay. Where's Everfire at? Hey, yep, yep, there you go. All right, so you're in Denver. Which one I do? This one right up? Bro, you got two endeavors going. What did you do? I don't know what I did. Man. Okay, uh, so you got one that you did no progress. And you got one that you did some. I think that's the uh, old endeavor. Try the new one. The second, the second option is that one you have nothing done. The other one you started, that's quarter three, I think. This is your second time taking the class. Okay. Yep. And all you got to do is, yeah, close that out and, and do that survey and knock out all of those parts. Okay? All right. All right. Once you go out the survey, knock out all six sections so I can get your grade higher. And start coming to class tomorrow. I'm not trying to fail you, but they have a policy with CPS. You miss, I think, 24 days. You're done. Okay? All right, good. All right, good. Fight for you. See you later. Randy, you there? A lot of yeah, fans I'm here. purchase a jersey. You're free to go, sir. Get ready for next period. Finish up as much as you can. Awesome shop. All nice right. job finding the best time for the team. You, you too, Randy. <laughs>